With us now on the phone is Dinesh D'Souza, the co-director and narrator of 2016 Obama's America, a new documentary based on Mr. D'Souza's best-selling books, Obama's America and the Roots of Obama's Rage. 2016 has grossed more than $33 million at the U.S. box office, is ranked number one on Amazon, and earned widespread praise from Americans across the country. It will be released on DVD on October 16th. And Mr. D'Souza, it's so good to have you back with us on Newsmax TV today. Uh, it's always a pleasure. Well, 2016 is officially the second highest grossing political documentary of all time and the fourth highest grossing documentary here in the U.S. Why is support for this movie growing and growing? I think the film has struck a chord because uh, people are hungry for information about Obama. Uh, they were surprised about how little was known about Obama four years ago. Um, but there were reasons for that. He kind of came out of nowhere. But now, four years later, at the end of his first term, it's downright baffling that so much is unknown about Obama. So the film is uh, an effort to fill in some of those holes. Uh, and not only solve some of the personal mysteries of Obama, but also the ideological mystery, which is what is his inner compass? What is the, uh, uh, where does the man want to take us if he's given another four years? Now, in 2008, as you say, Americans elected a president about whom they knew very little. What impact do you hope your film has on voters as they head to the polls this November? Well, we say in the film the last time you didn't know him, but now you do. And I think it's fair to say that whatever your politics, you're likely to leave our film saying, you know, wow, I just know a whole lot about Obama that I just didn't know 90 minutes earlier when I walked into the theater or when I put the DVD uh, into, my, into my machine. So the film has uh, had its theatrical run. It's been really successful. And I'm really thrilled that it's now coming out, not just in DVD, but also home box office, video on demand, all kinds of formats. So lots of people who may not go to the theater uh, across the political spectrum can now see the film in a very convenient way. Dinesh, did President Obama's apologetic attitude about America help fuel the anti-American attacks in the Islamic world, and in particular, the tragic death of Ambassador Chris Stevens? Well, it isn't just that Obama's uh, inaction emboldens our enemies. It does do that. But uh, the important point is that Obama deliberately undermines our allies uh, and doesn't seem to mind so much when forces hostile to America come to power. Uh, for example, there is a power struggle going on right now between the Egyptian military, uh, which has been allied with America, and the Muslim Brotherhood, which is the largest uh, organization in radical Islam. Uh, Obama, the Obama people have been telling the Egyptian military, you better step down, turn away, and turn over power to the Muslim Brotherhood, or we will cut off U.S. aid. Now, this is not a case of bungling. I mean, Obama's not being an amateur the way that Jimmy Carter, some decades ago, withdrew American support for the Shah, and, you know, oops, he got Khomeini. Uh, Carter did not anticipate that. But Obama knows full well that weakening the hand of the Egyptian military will consolidate the power of the Muslim Brotherhood. And uh, I shouldn't say still he's doing it, because what I really mean to say is that's why he's doing it. Okay, last month, the Obama administration released a statement denouncing the film, saying that the documentary is, quote, an attempt to dishonestly smear me, uh, smear President Obama. The documentary's producer, one of them, Academy Award winner Gerald Mullen, defended the film as fair and truthful. What do you make of the attack from the White House? Well, the White House at first tried to ignore the film, and then when it, the snowball became too big and gathered too much snow, they decided it's time to try to, you know, blast it. Uh, and yet their attack on it was so ineffective, so clumsy, so, you know, juvenile, that they alleged a bunch of factual errors in the film that are not errors at all. Uh, at one point, um, Obama said, well, I didn't approve, you know, uh, taxpayer money for oil drilling in Mexico. Uh, while, and in fact, well, maybe Obama personally didn't do it, but it was a federal agency, the Export-Import Bank, uh, and the policy for that agency is made by the White House, the Obama White House. And then Obama went to Brazil in 2011, and he actually said, uh, in effect, we're giving you money to drill, and when that oil is ready to be sold, quote, we want to be in line to be one of your best customers. So here was a direct uh, endorsement by Obama uh, of the idea of, uh, you know, while all the while he's been blocking oil drilling in America, subsidizing it here in Brazil, and he's also done it in Colombia and Mexico as well. 
Last question. 2016 will be released on DVD before the election. Why was it so important for you to release this on DVD before November 6th? Well, I just wanted to take a page out of Michael Moore's film, Fahrenheit 9-11. You know, Michael Moore realized it wasn't just the election, but that there's a heightened interest in politics in the months leading up to an election. People began to think not just about who to vote for, but larger questions about, you know, is the American dream alive? And, uh, what, you know, where is this country really going? Uh, and can we sustain these levels of debt? So I just thought it's a timely uh, occasion to have the film. The film's been in the theaters for three months, and we, by contract, were required to do that. Uh, but now that our three-month period is over, we can take the film out and put it into these other formats and just help it to reach a much wider audience. All right. Again, the film is called 2016 Obama's America. Dinesh D'Souza, congratulations on the success of the film, and thanks so much for being with us today. My pleasure. And thank you for watching Newsmax TV.